Hi everybody, Virginia here. I'm going to share with you my altered teapot that I made in a uh, cup and saucer. Um, I saw several ladies make these over the last year or so. And uh, I always wanted to make one. I was just really kind of intimidated um, as to how to put the stuff on it. So I thought, you know, it was sitting over there and every time I passed by it, I would look at it and say, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get to it, I'm going to get to it. Well, I just purchased my teapot, the cup, and the plate, or the saucer at my local Goodwill, and they're not a set. They didn't match. So um, let me get started very quickly. So I'm going to start with the teapot. Now, what I did was I had recently uh, purchased some flowers from, um, and watch me forget her name, her YouTube channel. Oh, my goodness. But her name is Rosanna Lopez, and um, I'm sure you all know who she is. Oh my goodness, I can't think of her name. But I, I got some flowers from her, from a, a D-stash that she was doing. And so what I did was, as you can see the trim, the lace back there, I covered the whole entire teapot, with the exception of the lid, um, in this um, lace. And then I came back in and just started embellishing it with... Um, appliques, uh, doilies, uh, some tr uh, lace or ribbon I guess, and uh, trim, flat back pearls, um, some buttons. Now like I said I either tea dyed this or copy dyed all of this and um, the first thing I did as I said I covered the teapot with the lace and then I started breaking up uh, appliques and just gluing them here and there. Now I wanted mine to look more of a vintage set and so that's what I went for. Now as you can see in the teapot um, where the little spout is, I used a piece of uh, coffee dyed um, oh my goodness that's terrible. Let me find it. Hold on. Oh what is this called? I'm forever forgetting this. Um, what do you call this? Well, anyway, it's that stuff. Cheesecloth. Thank you. So, um, I wanted it to resemble like steam was coming out. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that in there, but it was cute. So, what I did was I put flatback pearls on the edge right there. And then I hung this little crystal to look like it is pouring out tea. Isn't that cute? Pour a little bit in my cup. So um, I used uh, the rose applique from that wedding dress I had and then I believe some of these were from another wedding dress and all I did was I covered the whole teapot with it. On the bottom I had one of these rosette trim flowers from Walmart um, it was also tea dyed and then I had this uh, velvet trim that was already gathered that I took off of a shirt a while back and I thought it was such pretty trim I've been hoarding it and I mean hoarding it for quite a while now uh, gosh probably years because I just thought it was so pretty but I thought you know I'm going to start using that's part of my New Year's resolution is to start using some of this stuff I have. So I pulled that out and I put it all on the bottom for so it would sit. On the handle I put flat back pearls and I saw this idea and the lid from um, Miss Garden Grove and then what I did right here was these were uh, buttons that were on a wedding dress and um, I don't know what I did with it. But what I did was um, I used that, and actually I had gotten it at a um, um, secondhand store, I believe. And it was only a little piece of it, and the lady threw it in for free. So I used uh, the biggest portion of it to cover a lace book or a needle book, and I'll be uploading the video for that pretty soon. Um, I have to wait till my swap partner gets it. But it, it just had like a little section of the back. I tea dyed what was left, and these were the buttons on there. And so uh, I put them on there. On top, now the top, I didn't do nothing to the inside. Uh, oops, sorry, glue guns. 
I left it blank. But what I did was I put this little trim that I had also tea dyed, um, some lace, and then I put a doily. And what I did was I just cut, um, there was a little string that was holding the threading of the doily together. I snipped that and the inside of the doily opened up like a flower. It was really cool. So I slipped that over the knob and then I glued it on there and then Alice was telling me to try putting pearl, flat back pearls if I had enough because I ran out of them and I had just enough to put on the lid and then again like I said uh, Annie, Miss Garden Grove had done this to her teapot and I watched several videos of altered teapots before I attempted this and so um, I wrapped that all around there, isn't that pretty? And I left the lid on glued in case I want to store something in there. So that is my pretty little teapot. Now the lid or the plate, I did not, and as I said, I did not paint these first before I started altering them. Because I knew I was going to cover them completely. So all I did was I had this old piece of trim, and it's really old. Um, a couple of years ago, I had bought some stuff from a yard sale, and it had some very old, uh, very old Christmas material, and it had some of these trims and curtains. Um, there was an apron. I, I don't know what this man, uh, where he got them from, but I bought them from him, and it really is old. It's really neat. Um, I'm not going to say it's vintage, but it is old. It's probably from like the 60s or something. And so I um, didn't even have to tea dye this one. It's, that was the color of it. So what I did was I glued that around the plate, and then I put two different doilies on there. And then there's some more of that viney little uh, trim. I put a piece going this way and then a piece going this way on the back, and I'll show you the back in a minute. So after I did that, um, I glued the saucer to the top of the doily. And then, as you can see, there's more of that little trim back there, that um, velvety one. I put it to the edge of the cup so that you couldn't see it. I came back in with different appliques, and I just snipped them here and there. Uh, after putting the last piece of that lace that uh, Rosanna sent me. And I covered the whole thing and then put the appliques. I then, after putting the appliques, I came back in and I did the handle of the teacup with pearls, or pearls on a rope. On the edge right here are the flat pearls on a rope from Hobby Lobby. Um, so after putting that on, I came into the cup, and I'm going to, um, you can't really see it unless I pull this out. I put uh, the last little piece of trim inside, along the inside of the cup. And then I put a doily in there, and then I put lace trim on there. After doing that, I put the, the flat pearl on a rope up there. And part of my hand, I was trying to make mint green dye this morning. It wasn't working. But oh well. And then, again, another piece of this uh, muslin, uh, not muslin, um, cheesecloth. And I just stuck it in there, as you can see, um, oops, to resemble like, you know, steam is coming up. After I'd done that, then I came in and just started putting uh, various flowers and leaves, some more of the pearls on a rope, uh, different pearls, and then again, like I said, that leafy vine. On the back side, um, I just put more flowers, some more pearls, and another piece of the leafy vine. So there is my altered saucer. I think it came out really neat. And then just for show, you know, to go with the tea, a little cupcake or whatever you call it, I just stuck a doily on there on the bottom. What I did was I um, scored some old music sheet paper, and uh, then I cut out a little uh, punch of a scallop circle and then glued it on there so that it would go at an angle to look like a cupcake holder. And then I stuck a styrofoam ball in there, glued a, another one of these doilies on top of it. And then I had this brown trim, and I know you can't really see that. Maybe right there. 
It has like some of these little pearls inside it. It's really pretty. Um, I just did them in a little circle so that it would look like um, icing. Now, the tray, I actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it on here. I ran to the secondhand store to see if I could find a platter. And I found this one for $1.99. But um, I don't know if I want to leave it on a platter or if I want to take it off. So I just threw a doily on it for show. And um, let me put this all back. Because I just thought it was so pretty. I love my little teapot. I think it came out so good. I'm sorry. I'm trying to lower that TV. My granddaughter's watching cartoons. I hope you enjoyed my project as much as I enjoyed making it and stuff, and we will talk with you all later. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.